don't see this in other sports, do we? I mean, we don't see it often in a game of football or in a game of rugby or any other team sport. Why just the GAA? Talking about eye gouging or, or, or stamping or dangerous head uh, collisions, Kira. I'm, I'm oh, not yeah. too sure I know that we don't the, see these just instances these... in other games. So I'm not in. I'm not getting into what about here. You know, it was a very unsightly incident that happened at the weekend. I would take exception to the idea that people enjoyed it. I sat watching it with my kids. It was in Centre Parks for the weekend. Thrilling game. I was disgusted watching it. I was very uncomfortable watching it. And I would say that was the, the general sense of the GA population watching it. You know, I've played for 20 years. I've seen how the game has changed from when I started playing to what it is now. Yes, this was box office. This was prime time. And that's why we're discussing about it here tonight. But as someone who's involved in coaching and going to games every weekend, there's hundreds, thousands of games played at all levels every weekend in the GEA. Because you're talking about the GEA as an organisation has a disciplinary problem. OK, we had a very, very poor incident at the weekend. But that is the exception, the gross exception, not the norm. So deal with the incident. And it was wrong on so many so levels. You don't, but Dick, just to be clear, you, you disagree that there is a wider issue with violence uh, and this kind of behaviour in GA matches. Yeah, violence. To use the word violence, Kira, as, as, as uh, the, the, the GA has an issue with violence in its sport, absolutely. Do situations like this happen? They do. And they do happen in every sport. They mightn't get discussed on primetime news talk shows on a Monday night, but the GA, as the country's largest and most popular organisation, has to be held to a higher, higher standard. And that's why we're talking with the GA tonight. We don't talk about what happens in other codes in this country because they're not discussed at a higher level. And that's, that's a good thing for the GA, so we have to take what's coming to us and deal with the incident. But again, to, to use the words violence and that GA people and onlookers enjoyed. Well, I, 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 I'd be disappointed for anybody that enjoyed watching what happened All right. at the weekend. That's everyone up to their preference. I certainly didn't, and I doubt very many people did. Kevin? I think, first of all, it doesn't happen in soccer and rugby in the same way that it does in GA. And Dick's wrong, right, sorry. This doesn't happen every weekend, but it does happen every season. Uh, and I think it will, and it happens a lot. This obviously was on television. There was huge audience. It happens up and down the country. I think it is different in this scenario. In rugby and soccer, you just don't see the same level of this sort of thing. And what I mean by people enjoying it, all you do, play back, listen to the sound of the crowd on the television and the voice is rised, uh, rising as soon as that started. And I think a lot of people, right, Dick's right, if he's sitting there watching with his kids, obviously it's uncomfortable and that's not what you want your kids to do. But I can tell you there was an awful lot of people who were sitting up and down the country watching that match yesterday and they sat up in their chair when the fight started and, and the pulse started racing. Uh, Minister, do you think... Doesn't mean they enjoyed it, Kevin. Um, do you think there is sort of a macho culture within the GAA? that maybe tolerates or encourages, as Kevin says, I know, Dick, you disagree, um, but that tolerates or encourages this at times. Well, I would say just the, the reaction of, uh, of people that were watching the match, I think, was of disgust. I think that's what we're... Uh, if you look at the reaction online and people I've spoken to today, um, it's a widespread disgust of what happened. I don't think uh, people in any way enjoyed it, and I think we need to be clear about that. Uh, I, look, what I see in the GA is in, in, in actually a number of GA clubs today in Roscommon and, uh, and saw kids in my own community going out playing mini leagues. Like the GA, what it represents within communities is about volunteerism, uh, participation, community. And as Dick said, there are thousands of matches that happen uh, that are all about participation where there, you know, there's handshakes after and there isn't uh, you know, what we saw at the weekend. But I think, uh, as Dick said, we, we need to hold, it's our national game, there needs to be a high standard. Players are role models and where violence occurs, we need to speak about it yeah. and we need to stamp it out. And, and there has to be proper follow through and disciplinary action okay, on, those who, on those who, who, who have any act of violence in the GA because it sends the wrong signal to people who are yeah, playing and participating. I suppose on the flip side of that, when I talk about soccer and rugby, you have to remember that all the fans from the four counties who were in Crow Park yesterday are all mixed in one, one, among one another. They're everywhere. And that is the essence of the GA, that there isn't big fights in the fans or anything like that tension you see often in, in soccer games, Premier League, international soccer game, where fans are put in their boxes effectively and kept away from, from other fans. But then you see that on the pitch. Mm -hmm. So I think that's where the imbalance is. So you're right, the GA is everything that's great and it's people mixing and we're all on the, on the same road and want the same thing, which is a good match. But I think... 
the players. I think that's where down. that's where disciplinary action. I think. Uh, yeah. You know, and we have. I'm had just, just being interested. Sorry yeah. to cut across you, Minister, because I'd just be interested to hear Liam your. Um, opinion on this, because I was reading a piece in the Irish Times, I think it was Kevin McStay, uh, the former player, had written, I think it was last year, and basically what he said is, you know, the glorification of the hard man in the GA is a bit of a problem. Would you agree? It's a problem if it happens. It doesn't always happen. I mean, the disciplinary system, and I, I spoke on this a good bit when I was uh, out on, it's there to protect the decent, ordinary, skillful player. Now, sometimes people speak of discipline and they say it's, it's being hard on players. It's not. It's to protect the good, skillful player who has trained hard and wants to show his or her skill. And that's what we're about. We want them to do that. We want to protect, to protect the player. And we need to improve our behaviour. I think players have to take responsibility. It's now quite common when people come, uh, come onto a field to jostle your opponent immediately and start a confrontation with him. I remember a time when people come onto the field and shook hands with their opponent. And sometimes when they were substituted, they turned around and shook hands. I don't know where we lost that, whether it's in society or in our organisation. I, I think it's more so in society. But, but is there a problem we, then that when that happens, um, you know, a, a player substituted on, he comes over and, you know, gives the shoulder, gives the elbow, whatever, into the back, the dig. We all see it. We possibly don't uh, bat an eyelid at it anymore. That, that should be pulled up on. That needs to be stopped. And is that the referee's job? Oh, absolutely. There, there's, uh, as I said at the start of this, there's no acceptable level of violence or, or misbehaviour. Anybody comes onto a field and just as somebody said, should get a yellow card straight away. Absolutely. Discipline needs to be applied on the spot. There's no need for investigations after when that happens because a player knows when he sees the yellow card, he's in trouble. Dick, your response. I'm very uncomfortable with the word violence been thrown about here in terms of giving the dig. Like, and, and this is where things that the conversation sort of loses the run of itself. Um, I, we're here talking about because there was a, a row, a brawl, a fight at the end of normal time yesterday. That's what happened. And now we're talking about violence at large in the GEA. Like, well, we're, I think we're talking, talking about the fact that after all that's right culture. here. After, we're talking about a culture. Yeah, okay, we're talking about, I suppose, behaviours on the pitch that perhaps... So, lead to those I'll types of roles. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you about culture. Okay, I'll tell you about culture, and, and Kevin talked about it. We have a culture in the GA that despite all the alleged violence that we have, fans can go and mix in the most tense, hostile, potentially atmospheres, and shake hands walking out the gate. That's culture. We have our players that despite all the alleged violence that we have in the games, will just swap jerseys, shake hands, and share a pint. After. That's culture. That's what happens. That's the reality. That's the game I've played. That's the game that's been played today. And that, despite the incident that happened, after the game, that's what happened after the game. All those players, I can guarantee you, shook hands and walked off knowing what happened. And they equally know what happened after normal time was wrong. 